Okay, I'm still really liking this episode, which once again, yay. Glee's making me happy again, which is different hasn't been doing for a while, so so far no pain. Minor aches, but and I don't think I've groaned any time, but I'm kind of getting annoyed with Ryder as I said previously. Jake, I've gotten used to him. Ryder kind of felt more smarmy now. Jake finds kinda of like if everyone likes me then I feel validated, kind of like Blaine. That could be why I like him. He's a more tough version of Blaine. And Puck. Ooh, he's Blaine and Puck mixed together. That would be interesting. Anyway, let's go and watch and see if anyone has more snarky comebacks for Finn, because Finn was so play busy playing with dollies that he didn't notice that people were having problems. And ready, aim, fire. Ban on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. <laughs> Marley, hi. I can't do you over here because my singing voice is crystal clear. You sort of sound like you've got a snap bubble stuck in the back of your throat. What? No, because no, you're. That's just not right. Look, the reason I can't do you do it is because of the costume. I can't wear a head still body suit made out of clinging fabric. I'm too self conscious. I ask a question and I want you to answer. You could just say I can't do the duet with you because I don't like you and I have no interest. Mm -hmm. Did you get it down? No. Okay, still, Kitty, this means something totally different to the minds of fandom. <gasps> Damn it, Marley! You named your fingers? Please tell me you're not actually doing this, because maybe it's... Would it be easier for me, except if she's actually doing it to herself for her to be giving this advice? Yes. Okay. If Kitty is actually someone who does this to herself, I might be able to accept it. But she's still manipulative and evil. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God, Sam. That's the sky we're being. So, what Sam wanted us to talk about? My good thing. Don't just hand him some way to know. Be a man. Come in place of this. Ryder? My whole life I've never felt like I fit in. Ryder, did you say be a man? Ryder. Jake, I love you. I'm half white, half black, and Jewish. And just in case I forget, someone always reminds me. <laughs> Stoner Brad, hi. That's weird. So it's your oh, baby. And you're a bastard. He just confessed to you, Ryder, and you won't go in for it. Stop saying the words be a man. Be a person, be an adult. Are we going with the dialects, the dyslexic thing? Dyslexic. I don't know. Dyslexic. Dyslexic. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you, but these kitty cats are so much heavier now that she's looked into her tiniest outfit at Spencer's house. Don't you have a changing worm? I'm waiting. I can't. I look ridiculous. I'm sure that's not true. Come on. I won't judge. And oh god, this is like every Regency romance with a wallflower who's attracted some real attentions. Stand up straight. Shoulders back. You look H O T T hot. Do now. Raise your clothes. Your mom made this, right? Like she does most of your stuff? Mm -hmm. Well, bless her clogged overworked heart, but from now on, I'm buying your clothes. And they're going to show Seriously, I'm just hot. feeling lesbian vibes now. Bitchy, Rose bitchy Rose lesbian vibes. And I said I wasn't going to say that name last time. I'm not calling her a bitch. I'm saying she's a bitchy, bitchy lesbian. Yeah, I'm still just getting Kitty's closeted lesbian cheerleader. Hello, Satana. Oh my Jesus! Oh, God. Dear God. 
海。Go on, Kitty. Whip the piano, and I'm sure Brad might kill you. Wait, where's Blaine? See, I think I saw him, but I'm not sure. I've completely gotten distracted by where is Blaine? Wait, everyone. Jeez. What the heck? Blaine's not in this scene. Sorry. That can show you how much I care about them is that I can't be Dear God! This just feels like... Nope. Who allowed Kitty to have a whip in school? Aw, oh, that's... She enjoyed herself for five seconds. Uh... Oh, 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 it's the bad life time movie. And he's decided to finish the rest of his senior year at the Olympic Oh. Once again, where are Blaine's parents? For goodness freaking sakes, where are Blaine's parents? Blaine, where are your parents? Probably on a cruise or something, I don't know. What is it, Yoda? Okay. Raspberry hair gel? I wonder if he actually uses raspberry hair gel. That's how the smell comes across to Brittany. Okay. And Brittany was the only one who noticed he was missing. So there's a connection between Brittany and Blaine. Yay. Tina, worry. Tina's always like, if I'm not involved in the drama, the drama doesn't matter. So unless Tina's putting herself in the middle of the drama, she doesn't want to care about the drama. Um... Tina, I thought you liked Blaine. Now I'm confused. Or is you upset with him because he wouldn't get back together with Kurt just because you told him to? Although, Tina, you should be calling Kurt and telling him that. So maybe Tina will be the reason Blaine and McLean get eventually get together. Yay! But, um, once again, I'm really liking this episode. I'm, I'm almost accepting of the Kitty telling Marley to, to uh, do this. Only if Kitty does thinks it's a rational reason, but then again, she's kind of evil, so I don't think she does it herself. And that does not make the storyline okay. I don't like the storyline at all. Please stop with the storyline. But you're not going to stop because you want me to suffer. Or you want me to be upset, but whatever. Next part's coming up. I'm going to do some vlogging and then watch it and then... <laughs> See you later.